People were paying tribute today to cyclist Dr. He, also known as Chris. Dr. He was killed on the 19th of November last year when he was hit by a truck on the one way on Cumberland Street. After an opening car door knocked him onto the road, he was hit by a stock truck travelling north. Just one of many incidents involving cyclists on our roads, it has prompted councillors to discuss new ways to improve cyclist safety. Chris's death was an indicator to us that we just can't continue to live with the current situation. It, it just doesn't make sense to have cyclists so close to heavy traffic with a row of cars that a door opening can mean they veer and a life is lost. Councillors and members from the New Zealand Transport Agency have been discussing long-term options to improve safety on Dunedin's one-way systems. Two proposals were approved for consultation last week, with both having cycleways separated from the road. Well, the first thing to uh, be aware of is that there are changes that are coming. I think the council and the NZTA are working really well together to find a solution uh, to enable cyclists, buses, uh, trucks and cars to coexist on the road. With the proposals meaning a reduction of parks in Dunedin, others have wondered if it is in the city's best interests. But with deaths like Dr He's, councillors say their main priority is cyclist safety over a loss of parks. We're already seeing some comment being made in local media on loss of car parking. But it's far more uh, upsetting to have loss of life. A plaque was put up on the side of the hospital where the accident happened with a white bicycle chained by the spot until December. With a message to watch for bikes, the city will hope for less accidents on our roads. John McKenzie, 39, Dunedin News.